Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today I thought we'd take a look and have a chat about a recent Car Dealer Magazine article. I saw this and thought, ah, oh, that kind of relates to me, I can give some inside input on that. So I thought we'd take a look. The title of the article is, Auto Trader opens up on reservations tool testing after anger among some car dealers. Auto Trader is currently testing a new reservations tool. Feature allows buyers to reserve, get part exchange price and complete finance but some dealers are angry at the new function. So this is a new tool from AutoTrader. It's in beta testing. It's called Deal Builder. So if you are a car dealer and you advertise with AutoTrader and you wanna be on board with this, you need to speak to your account manager and ask whether you can be a part of Deal Builder. This is something we've had for a couple of months and we have done a couple of deals through Deal Builder. Basically, it's a way for customers to be able to reserve a car directly through AutoTrader as well as build their finance deal and get a basic idea of part exchange all on AutoTrader, meaning that the customer and AutoTrader can present to the dealer a deal, hence why it's called Deal Builder. It's put in front of you and you can go from there basically. So the article says, users of AutoTrader's platform can currently see a reserve with AutoTrader checkbox, which filters cars that are available that can be reserved online. The new function is currently in beta testing and is one of more than a dozen new features being tried out by the marketplace giant. So the article goes on to say that some dealers have contacted car dealer expressing anger that they feel they are being shortchanged. One dealer told us that reservation function is wiping thousands of cars off search pages despite dealers paying for advertising packages with the firm. They added that the part exchange values were being dictated by AutoTrader and thanks to the reservations features, there is no opportunity for dealers to pre-qualify customers. Now I can understand that with this function, to be fair, I wasn't necessarily aware of this, I should have known better, but that you can search through the auto trader pages and you can click a checkbox. I think it goes on later in the article to say that you can't do that right off the first page, but from the second page you can click only show me vehicles that are available to reserve online through auto trader, which would include cars at Barrow Motors because we're part of this beta tester. I can understand why people who aren't part of the deal builder test would feel a little bit disgruntled because auto trader clearly are not the cheapest of advertising platforms. They are the market leaders, they are very much the big guns when it comes to advertising and car dealers. And you know, it's a sign of reassurance to a lot of customers if you are an auto trader dealer. But that said, as far as dealers goes, there have always been complaints about how expensive auto trader is. And even myself, I sometimes find that I'll cut down my package, increase it at other times because it is just so expensive. Couple that with the fact that Auto Trader, seen here in another article by Car Dealer Magazine, says that Auto Trader have seen their profits soar past 160 million in hugely successful first half of the year. That's just the first half of the year they made 160 million quid. So I do empathize with some car dealers if their vehicles are being filtered out due to them not being a part of this. As I say, it's not cheap to advertise with Auto Trader. I think the general kind of rule that I've always figured out when it comes to me getting new prices, packaging, etc., is that it is around about 100 pounds per vehicle slot that is, advertising slot per month with Auto Trader plus VAT. So say, for example, you've got 30 slots of Auto Trader. It's gonna be about 3,000 pounds plus VAT. You will get some additional cars with that for free. They always package it in these weird deals. Don't ask me why, it makes it more complicated, but it obviously works for them. The more I think about it, the idea is probably that Auto Trader do not wanna give discounts. So it doesn't matter if you've got 10 cars or 300, it's still gonna be roughly around about 100 pounds per advertising slot per month, but you'll get a differing amount of free add-on cars on top of that. So as I say, for example, a basic 30 car package will probably be around about 3,000 pounds plus VAT, but you might get, let's say eight free cars on top, so it's 38 cars. Plus you get, I don't know what it is these days, I think it's, you know, you might get 15, under two, they might have increased it now to 3,000 pound cars. I think it always used to be 1,000 pounds and they might have increased it to 2,000 pounds, I can't remember, but hopefully someone else who's more clued up with that will let us know in the comments. We don't tend to stock cars of that value, so it's not much use to us. As far as talking about the part exchange values that have been dictated by AutoTrader, mm, well, when this beta test was being pitched to me, they basically said that the part exchanges were gonna be on the dealer side, basically. They were gonna be a bit lean, which gives you space as a dealer to offer more 
or not have to worry too much about whether things are damaged because you're already kind of putting in a sensible part exchange price. I don't know whether dealers are complaining that they'd like to offer more for part exchange or they'd like to offer less, but I think the point is that it's given as a guide price and you can make a decision from there dealing with a customer to say that this is that. The auto trader deal builder will tell the customer that this isn't a guaranteed figure and this will all depend on inspection by the dealer, etc. So yes, you're not 100% control of everything, but do you want to be? If you want to build your business, these things, you know, you want things to be getting done without your input all the time. So as far as I'm concerned, it helps the dealer and it helps the customer as well. So it should theoretically be a good thing. At the time of writing, 467,516 cars were listed on the platform. However, when the reserve with auto trader checkbox was ticked, that number plummeted to 31,090. The checkbox is available after the first page of results has been served up to the customer. When the customer ticks the reservation box and chooses the car listing that they are interested in, the user sees a reserve 99 pounds button beneath the advertised price and auto traders market price label tracker. Pressing this takes the customer to a separate page, allowing them to reserve the car but also get a price for their part exchange, apply for finance and decide how to receive their new car. We tick the box that says that we can deliver and we can offer a price with that. So customers know that there is at least going to be an option that they can have that car delivered. Whether that incurs an additional charge or not, you can set that within your setup of this deal builder. And it says here, car dealer put our reader's concerns to Autotrader, which insists that the function is in beta testing and urged dealers to come forward to be a part of the testing program. We've had reservations on Autotrader in different forms for a number of years now, and this latest test of this product is reservations in a slightly different form. Autotrader Chief Operating Officer Catherine Ferrers told us, adding, we'll run this new reservations feature for a few weeks, look at the data and then decide on what to do next. There's an interesting point here further on down the article saying one dealer who contacted car dealer alleged that the 99 pound reservation fee is held by Autotrader and is only paid to the dealer once the customer decides how they want to proceed. However, Autotrader insisted that the 99 fee is fully refundable and is only used as a mechanic to hold the car for a short period of time. Well, actually we never see that 99 pound reservation fee. That is simply something to get a base commitment from the customer to the retailer to let them know that they are willing to actually put their money where their mouth is and that they are seriously interested in this car. Because if people could just reserve the car without any financial commitment, we'd have headaches left, right and centre of people who just had a few too many drinks and decided they, they wanted a, a Mustang or something. They would just put a bid in and it would cause a lot of problems for us retailers. But what actually happens is they pay Autotrader £99 that is refunded directly to them from Autotrader once the deal is done and it is completely separate from the retailer. The retailer can also dictate to the customer that that is simply between them and Auto Trader, and they take a deposit of their own. So for us, in our listings, if you would go to barrowmotors.co.uk, look in the listings, you will see on each of them, it says, you can reserve this car for 99 pounds via Auto Trader, but we charge a 200 pound non-refundable deposit. That would be our customer's commitment to us, which knows that we can go ahead, get that car prepared, etc., and we'll follow up and get that 200 pound deposit after the 99 pounds has been left because they're gonna get that back anyway. It's just a small commitment to the dealer. So I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. I don't want the 99 pounds. I'm quite happy to keep taking my 200 pound non-refundable deposit. This is just basically a hot lead that's given to me by Auto Trader, where the customer has pre-qualified themselves saying that they're willing to put some money up into this deal and go from there. Interestingly, I got to add one of the questions that I asked when this was going through is what happens when someone reserves a car? Does it get taken off the website? Because what if they do just decide they're gonna get their 99 pounds back in a couple of weeks time? They've just decided they don't want the car anymore. You know, will I have completely lost out? What happens is the car stays on Auto Trader. It just gets marked as reserved across the picture and on the listing, I believe. So it will still show up in search results, but it is not showing as available. And if they decide they're gonna come out of that deal, your car goes back live immediately. So perhaps you're losing out on some interest in the short term by someone having decided they want to reserve it and not. But that's the risk you take, isn't it? Nothing's perfect, nothing's foolproof. So uh, it's worked well for us on the couple of deals that we've done so far. So in summary, Catherine Ferrers of Auto Trader has said, if this filter doesn't help, it will be removed. But if it does, and we think it's a job online purchasing that customers are coming to market wanting to do, then we will work to make that happen. Whatever decision we make, we'll be open about it and why we've made that decision. Fairs added that Autotrader is looking to get as many dealers as possible and lenders on board with the reservation function and encourage dealers to do so. So it goes without saying, if you are a car dealer and you advertise on Autotrader, then speak to your account manager and ask whether you can be a part of Deal Builder. That way you're not gonna be missing out. 
you might get more sales. It's probably gonna happen across all dealers anyway, and probably maybe sometime in the future it's gonna be a requirement to be on board with. So why not get ahead of the curve? It doesn't cost you anything. And there's less reason to be angry with AutoTrader then. Don't get me wrong, I'm not siding with AutoTrader here. Obviously we are part of this beta testing and you know, any chance to try something new, I was willing to get on board with it. We have had a couple of deals out of it and they're both very straightforward, easy deals. So. I have been very happy. I do wish AutoTrader was a little bit cheaper, especially when they're saying they're making money, 160 million for the first half of the year. You know, these companies do have to make money and they are innovators, they are the leaders. The majority of car dealerships will pay the premium for AutoTrader because it pays for itself as a good investment. Uh, I wish it was cheaper, but you know, when you're the best, you don't give it away for free, do you? So there we have it. What's the lesson of the video? I don't know. If you can't beat them, join them, I guess. So get on board. If you're a customer who's used the reservation fee and bought a car that way, let us know how you actually got on with it. Um, you know, maybe I'll even pass the feedback on to AutoTrader because they are constantly asking me for feedback on the system and how it's working. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Check out my website, shiftingmetal.co.uk. We've got loads of codes and discounts on there from some of our sponsors. So if you're looking to buy anything, make sure you check out the discount codes on there. You can also buy some of my merchandise if you would like any. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.